Welcome to Edgelution 2.0. Edgelution was originally created as an answer to the COVID-19 pandemic. When the world went remote and students lost their opportunity to be in the classroom. To help prevent students from falling behind, Edgelution filled the gap for those who didn't have Wi-Fi or technology. Edgelution has supported the community for over two years, filling the educational divide through equity and access, ensuring that all students have a fair chance to learn and succeed in life. Our host is Ms. Pia Rosa, a Bronx-born and raised educator with a heart for her community. Let's start the show. Hey friends, Happy New Year! So glad to have you back here for another episode of Bronx Edgelution. I'm your host, Pia Rosa, and let's get started. Today in social studies, I was reading a book all about the different kinds of communities there are. Did you know that we live in an urban community? Urban communities have lots of buildings, just like the ones right behind me. Take a look out of your window. Do you see any buildings? How many? Hello friends. So happy you joined in today to learn just a little bit about Native Americans and what they did in their free time when they weren't building their homes, hunting for food, tending to their fruits and vegetables, making clothes, and preparing for the winter months. We know they didn't have television and video games. So what did they do? Have you ever played lacrosse or paddled a kayak or looked in the night sky at the constellation Great Bear? Maybe you've heard stories of Earth resting on the back of a giant turtle or the great leader Hiawatha. Guess what? These are all part of Native American culture. Culture are the beliefs and way of life of a group of people. And a constellation, which may be a new word to you, is a group of stars that form a picture. There are two constellations that were very important to Native Americans. One of those constellations is called Bears in the Sky. You may know bears in the sky as the Big Dipper. The Native American legend is that the bowl of the Big Dipper is the bear and the stars in the handsel are hunters chasing it. Another constellation that is very important to the Native American people is Quilt Work Girl and her new seven brothers. Quilt Work Girl and her new seven brothers tells a Cheyenne story of how the Big Dipper comes to be when a girl and her loyal brothers escape from a bison. Constellations and the night sky played a major part in the lives of Native Americans, so they told stories about them. Kind of how someone in your family may tell you a bedtime story. So what did the Native Americans do during the day? Girls learn to weave baskets, make clothes, and gather food. Boys learn to trap animals and make tools like bows and arrows. Young children also played with dolls and rolled birch bark hoops. They also played a game called Begetaway. What on earth is Begetaway? Well, let's look at this picture. Does this look like a familiar sport? It might. Lacrosse, known to the Iroquois as the getaway, is a 500 year old sport. Each player had a stick made from a young sapling that was bent at the end to form a loop. When some French people saw the stick, it reminded them of a cross and they named it lacrosse. Lacrosse was played by as many as 100 or even 1,000 men on fields that stretched for miles between villages. A game could last for days. Can you imagine playing a game for days? I can't, but this is how some Native Americans spent their time. Now maybe 
after a long game of the getaway, Native American families would gather at their longhouse to play and listen to some music. The Iroquois would play turtle shell rattles. Rattles were made from animal skin, wood, gourds, and shells. The Iroquois played turtle shell rattles by beating them on the edges of long house benches. You know, you can make your own Iroquois turtle shell rattle with things you probably have around your house. The first thing you can do is research and investigate different turtle shell patterns on the internet. Find one you like for your project. Ask an adult to supervise, which means to watch over you while you're on the internet. You'll need a small brown paper bag, some crayons, beans or pebbles, a stick, some tape, twine or string, glue, feathers, beads, and ribbon. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that paper bag and your crayons, and you're gonna color and add turtle shell patterns to it. When you're done with that, you're gonna blow some air into your bag to make it puff up and pour in your beans or your pebbles or anything you have around the house that if you shake that bag, it'll make some noise. Now you're gonna put the stick in the open end of the bag and leave enough of the stick out to make a handle. Secure the end of the bag and the stick handle with some tape. You might have to wrap it around a few times. And then you wrap twine or string around the tape, glue some feathers, beads, and ribbons to the string, the ribbon represents horse hair. So wrap the ribbon around the top of the handle and now your instrument ready to play. Take a picture of your turtle shell rattle and share it with your classmates. Maybe during your next remote learning session, you can even show it to your classmates and your teacher and play them a little tune. Well, friends, I'm off to make my own turtle shell rattle. But if you're interested in learning more about Native American cultures, Explore Native American Cultures is a great book. And there's lots and lots of craft projects for you to do there, as well as making your turtle shell rattle. Have a great day. The Bronx Edulution. We are Bronx Strong. Hello, my wonderful friends. Thanks for joining me in music class today. Remember, my name is Miss D'Amico. For this lesson, you will need a drum or drumsticks. It could be one that you might have or a homemade one. It's up to you. You can also use your hands if you'd like. Let's get started. Before we practice our rhythms, let's warm up our voices together. Will you be my echo? Let's say the word doo-wop. Ready? Great job! Now can we sing doo-wop? Ready? Now let's go doo-wop. Ready? Great job! Let's sing doo-wop. Ready? Now let's sing doo-wop, doo-wop. Ready? Together? Doo-wop, doo-wop. Now let's do a tricky one. Can you sing doo-wop, doo-wop, doo-wop? Ready? Great job! Let's do one more. scooby dooby doo Awesome job! What you just did was a type of jazz called scat singing. Let's find a little bit more about scat singing together. Let's go! Scat singing is a type of jazz music where you sing nonsense or silly syllables instead of words. This can be doo-wop, scooby-doo, or anything else you can think of. When we scat sing, we often try to sound like different musical instruments instead of just the voice. 
And when we scat sing, our rhythm and melodies are made up on the spot. This is called improvisation. How cool! Now that we've warmed up our voices with some scat singing, let's practice our rhythm so that we can play even more jazz music. Ready? Our first note is ta. Remember, ta's are short and get only one beat. Let's practice ta together. Ready? Ta, 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 ta. Good job! If you cut a ta in half, you are left with a tt. Tt's are even shorter than ta. Let's practice some tt's together. Ready? Tt 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 tt. Good job! Our final rhythm for today is a rest. Just like ta, a rest gets one beat, but this time our beat is quiet. Let's practice doing three ta's and end with a rest. Ready? Ta, 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 sh. Ta, 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 sh. Good job. Next, let's practice a couple rhythms together. We will mix ta's, titi's, and rests all in one. Ready for the first example? Here, we have titi ta, titi ta. Let's try that together, ready? Titi ta, titi ta. Our next example is rest, titi titi ta. Let's try that together. Ready? Ti 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 ta. One more time. Ready? Yen. Ti 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 ta. Great job! I think you're ready for a special rhythm challenge. Let's get ready to go. <laughs> Do you like to dance? I love to dance. One of my favorite kinds of music to dance to is salsa. What's yours?
the other side of the island, safe behind high walls and iron gates, the Grandomes dance to a different tune. La, 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 la. They drink champagne, entertain tourists at their fine hotels, and tell their servants, polish up the Mercedes. La, 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 la. But if they got move our feet, <laughs> Bronx Edulution. We are Bronx Strong. At our school, we have Fellas Read Tuesdays, and dads are invited to come in and read to their child's class. Hello. I'm Mr. John, and today I'm going to read See You Later, Alligator. This is a fun book that rhymes. It's written by Sally Hopgood. I'm going to start by showing you this map, which looks like a map of a zoo or another place where animals might live. And you see the different areas of the map with bodies of water and shelter. And this is called a compass rose. This shows the directions north, east, south, and west. So as I begin the story, I want you to just imagine that the main character is walking through this, this large area where other animals live. This book is See You Later, Alligator. Tortoise wanted to go on a big adventure to see the world, but he couldn't possibly leave without saying goodbye to all of his animal friends. See you later, Alligator. I'll be a while, crocodile. Toodaloo, kangaroo. I'll call you soon, Mr. Raccoon. I'll be gone before noon, Mrs. Baboon, because it's a long way there, baby bear. You'll have to stay here little deer. It's over that hill, Buffalo Bill. Across the wide sea, Bumblebee. Through marshy bog, Scruffy Dog. And desert dry, Butterfly. Look after the house, Timid Mouse. Don't look forlorn, Unicorn. Forlorn means sad. The unicorn looks pretty sad there. The keys under the mat, kitty cat. I've put money in the meter, anteater. I think he puts money in the meter so that the lights will stay on. I think that's what people had to do to have lights and electricity. So he put money in the meter. I'll be back, frog named Jack. Sooner than you think, slinky mink. I can't stop another day, squawking Jay. 
There's so much more to see and do, Mr. New. So don't wait up, Buttercup. Looks like it's time to go, Slow Joe. It was the same every day. By the time Tortoise had said all of his goodbyes, the park gates were locked, and his big adventure to see the world would start all over again the very next morning. Is he still here? Yep. Hope you enjoyed the book. See you later, alligator. I'll see you next time. This is Mr. John saying adios, amigos. Hello, my name is Mr. John. Today I'm going to read a math book. Now what? A math tale. By Robbie Harris. Wow, blocks, lots and lots of blocks. Hey bear, this one's long. Long enough for a snooze? Wide enough? Look, one, two, three, four corners. One, two, three, four, straight lines. Two are long, two are short. Hey. This is a rectangle. A rectangle on top and a rectangle on the bottom, upside down, downside up. It's still a rectangle. Surprise, every side's a rectangle. Hey, it's a rectangle block. Oops. Too short for a snooze, too short for me, too skinny. Okay, I need one more long one, just like this one. Oh no, there is only one rectangle block, yikes. Well, maybe this one? Look. One, two, three, four corners. One, two, three, four straight lines, all the same size. Hey, this is a square. Whoa, a rectangle has one, two, three, four straight lines and one, two, three, four corners. Oh, this is a rectangle that's square. And there's a square on top and a square on the bottom. Upside down, downside up, it's still a square. And it's still a rectangle that's square. Surprise! Every side is a rectangle. So it's a rectangle block that's a square block, too. What if Nope, still too short, way too short for a snooze. One more, one more square block. Yep, long enough. Nope, too skinny, not wide enough, too skinny for me. I need more square blocks now. Oh no! No more rectangle blocks? No more square blocks? Now what? Oh, more blocks with one, two, three corners. One, two, three straight lines. Hey, they're triangle blocks. Look, triangle on top. Triangle on the bottom, upside down, downside up. Surprise, it's still a triangle. Okay, one big triangle block right here. 
one more big triangle block here, one small triangle block, and one more small triangle block here. One more small triangle block and one more right here. Long enough for me. Now it's wide enough. Hey, I made a bed. Surprise. It's a rectangle bed. Oh, two more blocks. One more rectangle block. One more triangle block. Done. I'm so tired now. So very tired. Dog tired. Okay, bear. Snooze time. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Now what? A math tale. See you next time. Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Bronx Education, a place where we can have fun while learning. It's so important for you to stay safe. There's so many colds and different illnesses going around and we wanna make sure that you and your family are protected. One way to stay safe is by washing your hands and covering your cough. I like to sing the happy birthday song while I'm washing my hands to make sure I get rid of all those germs. See you next time. Bronx Evolution. We are Bronx Strong.